Howdy, 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 folks. It's your boy, Hefetanks. And I want to start this video off by first and saying thank you, guys. We blew through our 300 subscriber mark. And we're at like 340 or something like that. 330 now. So, insane. Cannot thank you guys enough for sticking around and supporting the channel like that. Speaking about supporting the channel, how about you guys do me a favor? If you like this video, you don't have to do it now don't have to do it now okay if you don't like it don't like it that's fine but if you do like it go and give me an ammo rack to this like button do me a favor and hit the sub if you haven't already if you want to see more of this kinds of videos now there's not too much need to walk you guys through early on in this game I'm sort of sit back uh, in a sort of laid-back position here because I'm not sure how hard the enemy is gonna push this side and if they do push it I want to be able to run but it, before we get into that, um, I'm in the t 5 e 6 which is, uh, it, it's an average tank, honestly. It does everything very average, you know? It has average pen, it has average gun handling, it has average mobility, it just does everything average. Now, that's not to say it's not a bad tank, okay? This is a solid tank. It has really good DPM, its gun handling is really good too, you know? But there's nothing that it makes it stand out from your other two tanks that are in the same tank class like the uh, M48 A2 120 or the M60 which in my opinion do everything that this tank does except better so let's just get into this gameplay because now we're getting into the gameplay here so I'm hard targeted from this little patent over here or not a patent <laughs> now I got patent on my mind from this little uh, Pershing over here now uh, even though he's a tier 8 I don't really want to take a hit from him hit points are important and you guys should try to conserve your hit points as much as humanly possible because you never know when you might need them later on. So I'm going to take some hits on him. I didn't have enough gun depression where I was, so I move over to the left and I'm going to start hitting him from right here. Now, if you're not seeing heavy tanks or people over here on this side at this point in time in the game, you know that this side is more than more often than not clear. I'm going to take that light tank out because why wouldn't you? Now, I do not want to keep continuing past this rock. If that Avery gets a shot into my side and he can easily pen me, that is 1,300 hit points right down the drain. So I'm going to wait to go undetected. Now, if you look on the bottom right minimap, my dotted line, that is my detection line, is barely touching him. That means that I, I could get spotted from him and I could not get spotted from him depending on what his, his view range is. Now, I know that he didn't spot me, so I know that his view range isn't that good. But... That's just a really good way of telling if you're going to get spotted from a tank or not. If they're inside that dotted line, more often than not, you can get spotted. But if they're right on the line, then it's really on the cusp of their view range and your camo. And his view range just wasn't enough to cut it. So now that I'm over here in this corner of the map, we have complete side shots into these guys. And this Avery knows it, which is why he is hightailing it out of there. Or at least trying to, at least. Now I've lost shots on him, so I'm just going to keep progressing, and my buddy in the bat chat right behind me does have shots, and he is going to finish him off. We are losing this game pretty extraordinary, but we can still carry this game. We've been at worse and come back from worse, so let's just keep on trying to do all the best we can. I spot the waffle here. He's not looking at me, so I'm going to hit him right there, switch over to my HG shells. I want to get as much damage into this guy as he's backing away as possible. A uh, little bit of a misplay right there. He goes down on this slope as soon, and I just run out of gun depression. So, but there is something behind him that took a shot on me. He missed. So I need to be wary about that. And as of now, we're losing five to ten. I'm like, we need to put some base pressure on because we need to pull some of these enemies away from our teammates over there on the beach in order for them to come and help us. And we also can't push these guys. If we were to push these guys right now, we would get tore up by the Waffle and the Avery and the people. If there was someone to the right into the middle of the map, he would also tear us up. So there's no point in pushing. We need to sit where we are and we need to put some base pressure on here and use our view range to our advantage. So my buddy goes in and he starts clipping out the Avery. Okay? He takes a hit from the... He kills the Avery and takes a hit from the Waffle. He t lets me know that the Waffle has the big gun. The 750 alpha damage 3 shotter. And he shot him once or twice, I think. Um, so he's probably on a reload. So I'm going to keep trying to get as much damage out on him as possible. 
Now that he's backed off, I still have all of my kip, my cap points right now. At this point in time, I'm pretty sure I just want to cap the base out to win the game. I just want the win. But we will see what happens. My buddy is coming back to me because he says I got a light tank on me. I don't remember in the game at this moment how many shots is in the clip of that light tank. So it's sort of like, uh, I don't know. Now, when if I back up too much, that arty that's sitting on the beach on the J line is going to be able to hit me and reset me. I'm at 14 seconds. I don't want to get hit by him. As soon as I'm unspotted, sure, the, the arty could take a blind fire on me and maybe reset me. But at this point, I just have to deal with what's in front of me now. He bounces that shot. The timer is on two, one second. He's going for the ram, and he resets me at zero seconds. But he also foils his tank. I would have done the same thing if I was in his position. I just really wish that my first shell had actually penned him or at least tracked him instead of just damaging his track. But you know how it is. Kill shot don't kill for nothing. Now, the... Waffle starts pushing me. I have HE loaded, a misplay by me. I get tracked by the arty. I instantly repair. I haven't realized that my driver is dead. Instantly repair that now too. The Waffle has missed, I think, two shots on me. I'm gonna third person aim it into him right there. I need to get this Waffle out of here. I can't mess with this guy anymore. Get the Waffle out. I'm now gonna use the Waffle's body to put these two tanks in between me and them. I get a snapshot in on that guy right there on the Asterian. The Asterian's going to push me. He's an easy one shot for me. I'm going to pre-aim it. I get it. And his track absorbs my shot. Unfortunate for me because I needed him dead right then because he got another shot into me. Man. <laughs> that was a lot. There was a lot of chaos happening in that fight right there. I was trying my darndest, and we brought the game back, you guys. In that one little area, we brought the game back one to two. Absolutely putting the team on the back. And you know what? Still wasn't enough. There's still hope for this game, though. This 268 has got enough hit points. And if he has HE loaded, he should be able to one-shot this M40. has been absolutely harassing me this entire game with their new buff. Yeah, that's right. I said it's a buff. Deal with it. He spots the M40, he aims in on him, and he didn't have HE loaded, so he doesn't one-shot him. Even if he did one-shot him, the Cranvon came up right behind him at the worst time possible. He wasn't able to get his gun on him, so we end up losing this game. Close defeat. Actually, we'll agree with that for once. It was a close game. The light tank on the enemy team, honestly, he won the game for the entire enemy team. He is the real MVP by resetting me at zero seconds. That was the right play. I don't care what you guys say, like, if you want to let a game die just because you're going to lose your tank, then that means you're just not a team player. I will always play for the win, and I will never try to cap out unless it was absolutely necessary. It was absolutely necessary, that game. So that's why I capped out, and then I will always try to go for damage. But you also need to think about letting the team win. And if that means that you got to throw your tank, then you got to throw your tank, my guy. Sorry. I will now show the equipment and the perks that I use just in case you guys are going to want to run your T95 E6 in a similar fashion. Um, I don't really focus on camo because this thing, at the end of the day, is a big honking tank but not the best camo. But you could if you wanted. But um, there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.